Hi, I shot an intro that is just way too long, so let me rephrase it. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Emmy, and I'm going to be reading Don Quixote. So I knew about Don Quixote, but I didn't know that it was this thick. This is the most intimidating book I've seen. It's 900. And 82 pages. Who on earth has so much to say for 1,000 pages? This video is not about Emmy versus Spanish. It's about Emmy versus the English language. Hopefully, it's good. Uh, if it's not good, I would I would cry. And yeah, let the reading begin. So today I read a little bit of Don Quixote, I read the prologue, and I read a couple of chapters, and it's surprisingly funny. Even the prologue made me laugh. How Miguel Cervantes writes it is just so funny. So the plot up to this point is that, so we have a guy who becomes Don Quixote later. Basically, he reads so many chivalry books, and he goes crazy, and then he decides that he wants to become a knight, that the world deserves to be graced by his knight errancy, and then he sets up on the journey. That's been the plot so far. Um, so since day one where I read a couple of chapters, I haven't had the chance to open Don Quixote yet. I haven't had the chance. <laughs> I didn't open Don Quixote yet because for the last couple of days, I've been obsessively editing my Ishinomaki video. Video? Oh, that sounded so Japanese. And here's the thing. Ideally, I want this video to go up next week. I want it to be the next video after the Ishinomaki video, which means I only have nine more days to make this video. And I've read only like 40 pages. This is a crisis, y'all. So I did a little calculating. I need three days to edit a video, which means I only got six more days to read the book. And I have 934 pages left. Divide that by six, it is 155 pages a day. It is a challenge, you guys. I will try and make it work. If it doesn't work, then I'll have to make another video for Monday and I don't want that to happen. Hopefully we'll make it through. And if there's a video in between the Ishinomaki video and the Don Quixote video, that means I failed. So... <laughs> So we're a tad behind schedule. So today I had the afternoon off, so I went to a local coffee shop and read Don Quixote. And when I say a local coffee shop, I mean Starbucks. And I've progressed up to here. I managed to read almost 130 pages so far. And I've only like got put a dent in the book. This book is so freaking long. The story is good, by the way. The major plot developments that we have so far is that so Don Quixote, he went back to his hometown once and then he got his sidekick, Sancho. There's not exactly much of a central plot, I feel like. It's kind of just short episodes of Don Quixote being crazy, always thinking that there's an enemy or there's a great threat and he gets beaten up miserably, but still his confidence just never falters. Like that's the plot. This is a fun book to read, I like it. And if there's a video in between the Ishino Monkey video and the Stunky Monkey video, that means I failed. So <laughs> So, so are we gonna talk about it? No, we're not gonna talk about it. We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen and let us move forward. I am officially halfway over Don Quixote. I finished the first volume of it. And what I didn't realize before is that this is basically two books in one. So what has happened since the last time we talked? Don Quixote was kind of out of the picture for a little bit for about like 100, 200 pages. The focus wasn't really Don Quixote and it was about the people that he's met and kind of their dramatic love stories. Not gonna lie. I I'm kind of bored. Um, <laughs> it's not that the story itself is boring, but it's just kind of too long. It's like dragging on for too long. And then I started reading a little bit of the second volume and I am pleasantly surprised because the second volume starts with the notion that Don Quixote as the novel was published and it's a huge success. So the first couple of chapters, Don Quixote, Sancho, and this other guy is conversing about kind of the critiques on the first Don Quixote. We always love a good metaphor moment but like I was kind of surprised that a book so old as this would have metafiction features in it. I just love how self-aware this book is and it's not taking itself seriously. So volume two is starting off strong. So I'll chat to you again maybe when we're like half through volume two or maybe when we're done. I don't know.
Since I'm doing a video about Don Quixote, I have to talk about this. But in Japan, we have a big discount store called Don Quixote. It's a weird, funky store that we'd go to buy party or event supplies, but for some reason, it's really popular with tourists. Like, why are there videos with half a million or literally one million views? That is crazy. Anyways, I thought it'd be fun to take you guys there, do a little tour. So, welcome to the Japanese Don Quixote. で、ドンキに、レッツゴー。あれは何マスカステ。せーの。ドンキは。あ、これは日本人がいつも醤油とかも調理するし。そうそう、日本人醤油すればどこでも生きていけるって言われてるから、雑草とか引き抜いて醤
acting all these romantic novels in his reality. Main character energy. I just realized that that's what I was trying to describe. He is living his life as the main character. If he lived in 2021, he would have been making YouTube videos about how to become the main character of your own life. <laughs> So it's really sad that at the end, Don Quixote is kind of defeated finally by the, the real world and he goes back to sanity, which is significant because he literally dies right after that. When he returns back to himself, back to the real world, he dies. To be honest, when I was reading it, I wasn't really reading it in like an analytical point of view, not really. I was just like reading it as entertainment, which I kind of regret because I knew that I was making this video, but so I definitely didn't catch on a lot of stuff, but it's also definitely not my favorite book of all time. The thing that I really didn't like about it was that I got bored sometimes. It's basically the same thing over and over again. And if you say that in a nice way, you can say it's a never ending adventure, but also it's just like, okay, we get it. Like for me, it was just repetitive. I was like, okay, we get it. We get the point. I don't think it had to be a thousand pages long. <laughs> you know, just a casual five, 600 pages that bored me the casual read that it is. Yeah. So I don't think I'll be reading it again anytime soon when I probably like retired and I have like time, I'll. <laughs> but it was still a great book and I'm glad I read it. The first hundred pages was fantastic. Everything was new and like the humor I feel like was on point, especially on the first hundred pages. Like even if you don't read the whole thing, maybe read the first hundred pages of Don Quixote because it's, it's repetitive. It's <laughs> Anyways, this was a long journey. I'm happy and I'm proud that I finished it. I'm glad that I am officially part of the, the elitist club of the people who have actually read this book. Have you guys read Don Quixote before? I would love to know that. I am impressed if you've read the full version of this book. So please let me know in the comments if you have. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to know that. And I really hope you enjoyed this video because I put way too much time into making this video for you to not enjoy it. So <laughs> give it a like if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching until the end and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.